Hello YouTubers, so let's keep going here with the series. Um, now, what I'm going to be doing, since I think we have already retrieved, persisted data to SQL, uh, able to retrieve data, navigate back and forth, now we're going to, I'm, I'm going to implement the edit function, uh, so then we can edit the records that we already have. So let me open my app here. And... Uh, first thing we need to do is uh, add a button to our form and by the way if you you're interested in knowing this um, this is part of a series of videos that I have been making for the past few days so if you wanna take a look at it just watch the first video I'll put a link on the um, on the on this video to the to the previous one sorry guys I had plenty of rock star actually it's a lot, 24 ounces. Going crazy. All right, so let's get to it. Uh, let's add a button. Let's call it button edit or update. Let's just call it button update. Um, and then in the text property, let's set the text property to update. And then let's go in that property and let's add uh, the data adapter update command say new SQL command it's gonna be update table contacts and we're gonna set the uh, first name equal to uh, parameter first name now we're gonna add in a little bit and then we're gonna say that last name is gonna equal the parameter last name which we're gonna add and I'm gonna say where ID equals at ID. Okay, so now that's our SQL command right there for the update, update table context, set first name at first name, last name at last name, where ID equals ID, perfect. Uh, and then let's add a parameter now. Update command dot parameters dot add. And then we're gonna add our first one, which is the first name. Uh, SQL command SQL database type equals varchar um, and then we're going to say that the value of it is going to be equal to textbox first name dot text okay now I'm just going to copy and paste that info now the only difference here is that I'm going to do the same thing but for the last name again if you kind of lost just watch the, the first videos and then you know what's going on here uh, we have to add another another parameter here, which is the uh, ID, because we don't want to update everything. So we just want to make sure that our, we're updating the right record. Add ID. Uh, the SQL data type here is int. Um, and then the value is going to be equal to uh, my table. It's going to be equal to data set dot table zero so we're gonna pull the value of the ID that we're currently on cu currently on rows and the row is gonna be the table names dot position um, and then the column is going to be column zero because that's my column ID okay uh, once we have that data we just open the connection and then we the data set update dot execute none query and then we're going to close the pipe. Okay, so now that we have that, let's give it a try. Click play here. I'm going to click, click display, display, and then I have all the records. Now I can navigate back and forth with this. And let's say that we want to update this last name to, I don't know, Johnson. Whatever. Sorry, Rockstar. Update. Click next. It's been updated. Uh, let's say we want to change my last name to, I don't know, overload. Next, update. Now we close, and if we uh, reopen, we should see those changes persisted. So my last name's overload now. I am overloaded. And, uh, and then Johnson. And uh, that's it. That's how you update records um, uh, using the uh, data adapter. That's pretty simple. Um, we can also 
we can also use some confirmation in here because I think this one uh, it returns a SQL non non uh, execute non query returns an integer. We have time, right? Five minutes. So this is what we can do. Watch. We let's do this. Let's declare int here x, and then uh, we're gonna say that x equals that, and then we're gonna use the if statement here. If x greater or equal to 1, then message box dot show, and then we're going to say record has been updated. Let's try that one more time. Now, when, whenever we update a record, so let's say uh, change this to or update, then say records have been updated. Um, and then we can actually call the update. All right, anyways, so again, that's how you, uh, that's how you update records using the data adapter. Uh, keep watching. Uh, rate my uh, videos and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.